tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, if you jump from the hand of the Lord, it is like jumping from the frying pan into the fire. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, in the frying pan, at least when you are burning one side, you can turn over to the other side. But when you jump in the fire, you will be, the whole body will be there. Hallelujah. So when you are in the hand of the Lord, when challenges come, you can turn. You can turn. You can turn. You can turn. But you are in the hand. You can turn around. And when you are turning around, you are turning the situation around. But as long as you are inside the hand, the situation will be okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Amen. Awa. Now tell your neighbor and say neighbor. Even if however hard the situation be, just turn around on the same Turn around on the same place. When you turn around, even the situation will turn around. Don't come out. Right inside of that hand, there is victory. There is love. There is power. There is safety. There is peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, My sheep are in my hands. This is to tell you for the rest of your life, no one will find you. The veil cannot find you. Demons cannot find you. Your enemies cannot find you. Because anyone who challenged to fight you must first deal with that hell and finish it. Unfortunately, there is no one who can deal with that hell and, 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 and defeat it. This is to say you are safe for the rest of your life. No one can deal with the hell of the Lord. No one can destroy the hand of the Lord. No one can defeat the hand of the Lord. As long as you are in the land, you are safe. You are protected. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Say, the one who fight me must fight the hand of the Lord first. Hallelujah. Maybe he's going to try to bite it. But what we know is that 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 it can never be touched. The hand in which we are, it can never be touched by any enemy. Hallelujah. I give them eternal life. And they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me. Jesus says, He gives us eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. We have life plus. Life plus eternally. Hallelujah. That is our lives. Hallelujah. We have eternal life. We are living a victorious life. A blessed life. In this world. We are living a victorious life. Blessed life. In this world. And we know. We are having a home. In heaven above. We are having accommodation. In heaven above. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor say we have accommodation. Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah, it, it, I prophesy you. 
we we will take more than 100 years to go there but what will I show if the accommodation is there hallelujah what is the role of the sheep the role of the sheep number one is to be familiar with the voice of the shepherd hallelujah Amen. Huh? Have, you ever, have you ever seen the span of oxen plowing hallelujah mm. Whether a shepherd is an old man or a young man. But they know the voice. When he says foreign. Foreign. Foreign means be in a straight line. Hallelujah. You will see the, 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 the ox. They will come to the straight line. They are, they are familiar with the voice of the shepherd. Some of the cattle, they know even the whistling of the shepherd. Hallelujah. When the shepherd says, you will see them. Among all the whistling, they identify the whistling of the shepherd. So, among all the voices in this world, there are voices that speak different things. They give different guidelines. Different directives. But we must know the voice of our shepherd. Hallelujah. Jesus says. Yes, in John chapter 10 verse 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Verse 5. Verse number five, you go. John 10. They won't follow a stranger. They will run away because they don't know his voice. Any voice that says is too much. Give up. Is the voice of the stranger. Any voice that says this has come to finish your life is the voice of the stranger any voice that says how long have you been praying hallelujah Amen. the voice that says how long have you been praying uh -huh. How long have you been praying? You fasted. You prayed. No change. Is the voice of the stranger. Stranger. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Huh? Hallelujah. A voice of a stranger. It's the voice of the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus says, yes, my sheep will not listen to the voice of the stranger. They listen to my voice. The voice of the stranger will appear when you are in the situation and say, how long have you been praying? Hallelujah. Amen. You must say, God, this time is the best. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. At least at least yes, chapter 3 said it exactly that everything has got its own time there is time to pray there is time to plant there is time to build there now when you have planted there is time for harvest mudondi si chapter 3 isweka kahiri shilo shi na shi na nkarwa wa xona kuna nkarwa wa ku dzwala kuna nkarwa wa ku tshobela loko mi dzarile kuna nkarwa wa ku nguna mfana mi tshobela haleluya amen when they ask you a question how long have you been praying you must tell them all that long time i have been planting but now is the time for my harvest hallelujah amen no no amen don't take the voice of discouragement and hopelessness. Minga take irito, rako hito amatimba, nako ala kupumela. It's the voice of the stranger. Irituralo anga tebeki kisatana. Sheep. Tinyifu. Don't complain. Ati gunguli. Hallelujah. Amen. Sheep don't complain. Tinyifu ati gunguli. Hallelujah. Amen. No, 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 no. Eh, eh. When you slaughter a sheep. Loko me tanyifu. Ah, ah. Hallelujah. Amen. You slaughter a goat, me tayambuti. You slaughter a sheep, me tayanyim. You slaughter a pig, me tayonchi. Which one will make a noise? Iyi kalo sinaro singa tapa huwango. Yeah? Allah la. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, she she is a le she a shina huwa. Mara amisho ba huwa she abu i. Apotwe. Hallelujah. Amen. The sheep. You will be ashamed and leave it alone. When you're trying to kill it, just look at you until you are surprised. And you left it. You leave it alone. Hallelujah. Amen. And you leave it alone. Hallelujah. If you do not complain and make noise, you give God time that he can look at you and feel for you. Amen. Hallelujah. The sheep does not make noise. Hallelujah. It does not make noise. Amen. Your problem must be known by you and God. Hallelujah. Your problem must not be known by the whole community. Don't greet people with your problem. Your issues must be between you and God because you don't make noise, don't complain. You do not lament. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you remember what Moses said? When they were complaining and saying, Moses, you want to kill us by thirst and hunger. Moses said, Why are you complaining and test God? When you complain, it's a test to God. Amen. Don't complain. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord will settle your case. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, In the last day, the sheep shall be on the right, and the goats shall be on the left. You are the people who belong to the right hand. 
You are the right people. Who belong to the right hand. And whatever I do is alright. And you will live in the right time. And arrive in the right time. You start things in the right time. You continue in the right time. You complete in the right time. You are people of the right. People of the right hand. Of the right time. Of the right moment. It goes to the right. Say neighbor, mine goes to the right direction. <laughs>